It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And Killer Cam goes on Instagram. Pretty much tells Pusha T not to put his old issues with Jim Jones. And it's this track. You know, if he does put one out, basically says, yo, any issues we had in the past, don't mention it in your record. You know, I do sports. You know, I ain't, I ain't battle rapping and all that. Now, Cam, you know better than that, G. Cam knows there ain't no rules to battle rap. You can't tell somebody what you can and can't do. Now, I understand that there is a level of respect there where, you know, Cam and Push, they had a record before uh, with Pharrell called Popular, Back by Popular the Man, Popeyes. So there may be a relationship between the two. He's saying, yo, respectfully, don't put me in. But at the same time, when you say Jim got pushed on the ropes, got you rope doping and all that, all bets is off the respect. That's out the window once you said all that. You pretty much let them know, like, hey, yo, it is what it is. Like, I'm riding with Jim kind of thing. Not even riding, because, you know, he said he ain't jumping in. But at the same time, he letting Puss know, like, yo, Jim, that's my guy. Especially when he say he got him against the ropes. I mean, the diss track Jim put out, you know, it, it, was, it was decent. It's what we was expecting. It wasn't nothing too crazy. It wasn't nothing quotable, nothing like that. But we know Push is a wordsmith. We know Push takes his time with things. Um, if you saw the battle between him and Drake, you know, line for line, Push and T doesn't waste the line. And Push does get disrespectful. You know, he said the line about, um, what's his name, 40? You know, uh, that man is 666. I got the double flow 666. Like, yo, we know he ain't gonna hold back when it comes to, you know, replying to somebody. If he does reply, because that's the second thing, we don't even know if he's really gonna reply or not. Because all this started because Jim Jones said that Pussy T wasn't a top 50 rapper, which I highly disagree with. And we all know that, you know, Jim Jones is close to Drake and Drake and Pusha T was enemies. So Pusha had every right to defend himself in a verse. And, you know, Pusha did it in a way where he didn't even cause commotion by saying his name. He let a couple bars directed at Jim just letting you know, you know, how he felt. You know, he didn't put out a diss track, nothing like that. And that's when Jim, you know, jumped out the window and just aimed a whole rocket launcher at Push. And, you know, we're in it here now, you know, so. We'll see what happens next. I predict Pusha T will respond on Wax. I do predict that it'll be on his own time. I don't think he's getting up, you know, in the studio for Jim like that. That's no disrespect to Jim, but you know, somebody of Drake's caliber, he's on, you know, be a little more calculated with with Jim. I don't know if he's gonna feel the same way if he has that same urge to even reply back. But you know, Push is an MC, and so I do think he will reply. I just think he'll go on his own time. And, you know, as far as the Cam bringing up issues with Cam, he might not even mention that. Like, that's old. That's not even, like, worth mentioning in the diss, honestly. Unless Pusha brings up something that we don't know about, like something with uh, uh, Chrissy or something personal to Jim with Cam, then, you know, that's the only way I see Push doing that. But, you know, Push also knows Jim is outside. But, you know, not saying that he cares or thinks like that, you know, because, man, we don't think about the repercussions of another man's coming at us. It is what it is. And, you know, love and warfare and all that. But anyway, let me know in the comments how y'all feel, who y'all think's going to win. And, of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 